Hi guys, today we are going to be playing with a very unexpected package that I got the other day. I went to get my mail and there was a package from Glamlight and I knew they came out with a new palette but I just didn't think that I was going to receive this one in PR just because it is, I think it's a limited edition palette. This is like a holiday exclusive that they came out with. So they came out with the Glamlight Pro Paint Palette. I think that's what this is called. So this is one of their paint palettes. They do have another one from beforehand which is a little bit bigger and it also has more like just primary colors whereas this one has a little bit of variations in the colors in the palette. So here's what the palette looks like. It is so cool. Like I love the packaging on this. This is actual wood. That's so satisfying. And you can kind of just like flip this around. I think this is such a cool idea. Like I don't own their first one, so I don't know exactly what that one is like. But like I said, I have seen some people compare this one to the other one and the other one is bigger. So this one is a little bit cheaper than the other one, even though I think they have the same amount of shades in it. Currently when I'm filming this, it is Black Friday and this palette retails normally for $38, but it is now on sale for 24. I plan on having this video up the day after. So if you are interested in getting that, you can get a really, really good deal. And they have a lot of really good deals on their website. So maybe check out Glamlight if you're interested in getting something from them. My code doesn't work during the sale, but if you somehow miss the sale, you're watching this video later on. I do have a code with Glamlight, it's just Annette and it will save you 15%, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm so excited to play with this palette this is so cute i mean usually i don't really buy rainbow palettes because let's be real i have a lot of rainbow palettes already but there's something about glam lights rainbow palettes that just they just mm, they just hit a spot in my heart and they're just so beautiful and so cute and which way is right i think it's this way <laughs> and i just love this and the swatches of this palette looked absolutely beautiful especially the shimmer some of these shimmers like kind of blew me away a little bit because i wasn't expecting the shifts in them especially that very very light one it's a bit of a blue to pink iridescent shade and it's just it's not like anything else that i've seen in glam lights palettes so is that all i wanted to say in the intro should we just get into doing a look with this i think that's what we're going to do so let me just go ahead and start by priming my eyes with my natasha denona eyeshadow base Oh, I also forgot that this came with a brush. So here's what the brush looks like. It's one of those very, very small. I would normally use a brush like this for cut creases because it's very, very slick, but it's maybe a little too big for that. So I'll probably try to use this for my shimmers. I think it will be quite nice. It's not the kind of brush that's going to pick up the shimmers the best though, but if I'm going to use some of my glitter primer, it should be okay to use this brush with that. So what do I want to do today? I have so many options, but the shade that is really, really speaking to me is this teal, or is it more, it leans more green than teal. What is this called? Viridian green. Okay, so it's definitely more on the green side. This turquoise is beautiful as well. I'm thinking maybe I wanna use a little bit of the purple. There are so many beautiful shades. I think I wanna have this shade all over my lid. This is a little bit on the crumbly side though, so it might not be smoothed out the best, like all over the lid. I feel like this is more of a, in a corner shade, but it's so beautiful that I kind of want to use it. Same with this one, oh, so stunning. But I feel like this one is going to be nicer with like the greens and the blues rather than the purples. It might go really nicely with these tones as well. I mean, honestly, it would probably go good with anything. I'm rambling. Um, let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna start with the purple, which is really an indigo or a blurple as I like to call it because blurple is just more fun. And I'm going to use that as my deepening shade and my outer corner shade. So I'm first going to pack it on the outer corner of my eye and we'll see how this performs. When I swatched this palette, I felt like the swatches were a little bit sheerer than what I'm used to from Glam Light. So that kind of threw me off a little bit, but it seems to be going on the eye very nicely still. So I'm just going to place this shade where I want it to be, which is basically in the outer corner of my eye as well as through my crease, but I'm gonna keep this low enough down that I have room to blend it out with that. I think the Viridian Green shade, I just wanna use that shade, it looked so beautiful. This is how I normally work with purples. If you're the kind of person who like to build on your darkest shade, um, this one does seem a little bit on the sheer side, but it does build quite well on its own at least. So I would assume that it would probably be buildable on top of another shade as well, but obviously I can't tell because I'm, I haven't tried it, but just from like putting it on my eyes, it seems to build very nicely. So that looks really nice. I think I'm going to take this under my eye as well, just closest to my lash line here. And then I will do the same with the Viridian Green shade. All right, let's go ahead and blend this out. So I'm gonna grab the shade here, which like I said, is called Viridian Green. And I'm gonna take that on a clean reference number 13. 
I'm gonna tap it off a little bit. I don't want too much of this. And I'm just gonna run that over the edge of this purple or blurple or indigo or whatever it is that you wanna call it. And I'm just gonna use that to blend out this shade with. And since this is more of a blue based green, these should blend quite nicely in together. I wouldn't normally blend out a purple with a green, just color theory wise, but blending out a purple with a blue is definitely going to work out. So I think that these are going to look very nice together. So I'm just gonna take this all the way around the edge of where I put down that purple. I'm just going to take my time here, just basically again, placing it down right on the edge where the two colors meet. And then I will wipe off my brush and just use a clean brush to blend the edges with. I feel my heart is going full speed. I can't control it. Can't keep up with the rhythm of it all. Is this all an illusion? Cause I'm getting Man, this shape is blending out so easily. This looks absolutely beautiful. I am gonna go in with a little bit more of that first shade that I used just to really intensify that. And as you can see, this is building beautifully on top of that as well. This looks so good. I'm so excited about this look and I cannot wait to put that shimmer on my lid. I feel like it really is going to look so good with these colors. Oh, I love this so much. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take my NYX glitter primer and I'm taking that on the brush that came with the palette and I'm just gonna Basically put this on my lid, but I'm also going to pretend like I'm doing a bit of a half cut crease with this. So I'm going to carve out with my glitter primer where it is that I want my shimmer to go. I might have to just do one eye at a time here so it doesn't dry up. And I try to pick up this shimmer with a brush, but it's so creamy. I have that problem with some of the other very, very light shades from Glam Light as well, that they don't pick up very nicely on a very slick brush. So I'm taking a Morphe, what is this, M124 with a little bit of glitter primer on it. And that should help, holy crap, pick up this shadow a lot better. Man, that looks beautiful. I hope I'm able to get like a really nice and smooth application with this because it's just gonna end up looking so good. I might take a little bit of uh, like a purple shimmer on the outer portion of my lid as well. The shade is a little bit tricky to work with. Like I said, it's a very, very creamy and a little bit chunky formula on your brush, but it does smooth out very nicely on your lid here. So I'm just gonna take my time with this. It's definitely a little bit on the sheer side, but I think once I get this built up, it's going to look absolutely beautiful because, oh, look at that shift. That is so cute. Man, this looks so good and so intense. I will say that this shade is, like I said, a little bit on the sheer side. So I kind of wish that I did a actual cut crease beforehand so I could kind of remove what was underneath, but it doesn't matter. This looks really nice still. So just as a last step, I'm gonna go back into that darkest shade and just kind of layer it over the edges a little bit. I'm not gonna use any other shades, I don't think, in this look because I just, I really like how this is looking so far. And I think that using that very, very light shade on my lid, that shade could be layered over basically any of these other shades and it would probably really transform them because it is so beautiful. Oh, it actually reminds me a lot of uh, some of the Cleona shadows that I have, like the iridescent multichromes, they're so stunning. Oh, and this matte is just layering very nicely over it again as well. I really like this look. I think that looks very good. So I think what I'm gonna do, is that all I wanted to do? Do I wanna take a little bit of the shade right here in my inner corner? Couldn't that be kind of fun? I think I'm gonna try that. That one is called Cadmium Yellow. I am going to spray this since I don't have any glitter primer down and I just want this to be nice and intense. This is definitely gonna add much more of a pop of interest in the inner corner. That is actually kind of cool. I like that. Just taking it up onto my lid a little bit as well and blending it into that blue. And I'm also just wrapping it down underneath my eye. See, I think that that made a huge difference. I like this. I'm going to finish off my eyes and I'll come back and I will show you the look. So this is the look all done and I love how this turned out. I think this is just so fun and I just love wearing blue eyeshadow. It is one of my favorite colors to wear. That in green and both of them together, 
oh, it just can't get any better. So I love this look. Uh, let's see, what did I do to finish off if you were curious? I used the Beetlejuice and Melt lip liner, lip liner, eyeliner in the shade Utterly Alone on my top lashes. It's a beautiful dark purple. And then in my waterline, I used Equalize from Lethal. I also changed my lipstick because I just, I love having a pink lip with a blue eye look. Is that very 80s? I don't know, but I don't know. I just feel like it goes, okay? <laughs> and I used the lip liner from NYX. I don't really like these. This is in the shade Hot Pink. And I don't know, I find these to just not glide very nicely on. They kind of crumble off a little bit and I don't love them, but it'll do because it was the only one that I had that was the same shade as my lipstick. And this is Flat Out Fabulous from MAC. It is one of my favorite lipsticks in my collection. Love the formula. Love the color. It's one of those matte lipsticks that actually look good even when my lips are dry and they just wear so well. So I love these. I love this palette too so far. I obviously haven't played with it that much, but the mattes that I used were absolutely wonderful. Didn't have any problems at all. I will say that this shimmer shade here that I have all over my lid, it was a little bit tricky to get like a nice smooth application. I think that a finger application is probably better with shades like that, but I just don't like using my finger with eyeshadows. It's just what it's like. So for me, I struggled a little bit, not only to pick it up with a brush, but also just to apply it smoothly to my lid. But I think it looks absolutely beautiful and it was worth a little bit of extra effort that I put in to get this look because oh, that just looks so nice and shiny. So I love this so far and you guys know I love my Glam Life palette. So I'm not surprised that I like this too. And like I said, this is on sale now for $24, which is a steal. Hopefully that sale is still going on and it's going to last for a couple of days. But if you've been thinking about picking up some uh, Glam Life palettes, now would be the time to do so because I think their whole site is 30% off. I could be wrong, but go ahead and check it out if you're wondering about any of the sales that they have because that is such a bargain and their quality is fantastic. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you Glam Life for sending me this palette. Thank you to you guys for watching. If you wanna see some other Glam Light videos that I have on my channel, I'll put my Glam Light playlist on the screen. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.